All right, so we gotten a white piece out of that war against our liege, which we would have wanted to avoid because, well, he doesn't like us all that much because to him now we are a traitor, though to this man uh, we are a good friend and ally because we honored the alliance. Um, yes, so we are out of the war. We're looking at a shattering of our realm because we have too many uh, eligible heirs here, so we need to get rid of some of these. We cannot appoint people to become this, to kick them out of the, uh, the um, succession. There we go. That's, that's the word my mind was missing there. Um, when can we upgrade? 750 devotion. And we must have at least one virtue, which uh, we do not have. Virtues are the green... Uh, things like this one charitable that's a virtue so we're not allowed to advance in our society because right now well <laughs> um but we'll see maybe we lose drunkard i'm not sure if it's actually a wicked trait because it's something inheritable but we'll have to see we want to get rid of our kids oh what is he he's a leo and we should probably give him some sort of focus. He's already pretty good at certain things. Give him war focus. So we need to get rid of these. This guy we already got uh, imprisoned by doing our spy master work for us. So our firstborn son might just die in prison. Uh, we are still on the... Uh, Carousing focus, so we'll just keep carousing with the dukes of the realm, which are not us, because that is good. He holds a few lands which we would like to have. So why is it good to have friends? Because they will, even if they're not allied with you, potentially join you in your war. Or, you know, call you into the war. <laughs> and of course, being on friendly terms with your liege is also a pretty good idea, generally. So we even want to look into foreign realms. Sometimes you're capable of inviting people carousing from there as well. Doesn't seem to look like it. Ah, no. Same realm, you can't... I'm lying, you can't invite people from outside the realm to carouse with you. We're still trying to generate... Oh no. What will this be about? War against the tyranny. I have a feeling we might be called into that one. Yeah. So right now he has 1600 something. They have 1204, but we will... Get to make a choice there. Maybe. Okay, these two that just joined the... And we could join it for... I'm not sure what that even leads to. If they win it. Do they break free? If so, would that be good for us? Our liege is obviously not going to join us in carousing because he's now in a war. We need a new commander and we don't really have anything good in the realm, so we'll find anything. Okay, we need to search everywhere, not just in our own realm. And we'll always invite a few more people than just one. You never know when you're going to need the next person. We did invite a genius right now. And I think that the genius should be teacher of our kids. After I had made another courtier crying, you know, all the pantheon, what have I done? I would like to be kind. And we have become kind. And thus we will be able to rank up in our society. Right. We want some... Talking stations, the realm. Now the genius that we just invited is going to be the educator of our kids there. 
Christ. Man. Though he's not the right... Uh, it'll be our commander. It'll be our commander. And rank up we shall. We have invited a few dukes and a duchess. Who I think for the first time is actually joining. And... I think we will pay for money. We need money more than honor. We lost money, so that didn't work out. So what will we be able to do? Bow of celibacy, definitely. That is the thing we do immediately. We have enough heirs. Do not wish... We have more and we're going to once this feast is done begin secluded meditation and try and find some peace in it anything interesting oh yes we could also determine our zodiac sign which we don't have right now so let's do it after making a proper calculations we have determined that i was born under the sign of the capricorn capricorn so we lose martial gain learning and people who are opposite of it? Not sure. I don't sh I'm, I'm not sure what the opposite of Capricorn is. Probably look it up. Oh no, our friend died. Splintering his realm. You can see now that there are new dukes, uh, counts that were previously under his control directly. He actually won. Oh, because he crossed the river. We'll ask for help in trying to make sense of a passage and the prince of Zorini and our daughter shall be married, giving us a non-aggression pact with our liege lord. And we are being explained the passage of the holy texts that we couldn't make sense of before, so that's good. And you would like our son to be... Oh, thank you. He's not going to like it if we decline this stuff, but... I'm not going to like it if he tries to interfere with the upbringing of our kids there. Also probably look into assigning him a better guardian. I'm not sure what, what is he even. Yeah. Need another military person there. Genius is available. Let's give him to the genius and see what happens then. Should we struggle with meditation? We struggle a bit with meditation, but such is life. Things aren't always as straightforward as we would like to. Okay, we could give spiritual guidance to others, or we could... In the next level, teach a virtue, which is what we really want. Teaching a virtue is lovely stuff. Guaranteeing that your kids turn out pretty well. There's a revolt over there. Uh, boom, something, what? Trying to make sense of a grand... Our kid asking us where we are. And we could read him something from the great story. Yeah, let's read him something from the great story. That sounds good. The grand story, I'm sorry. Oh, that is fantastic. There's a chance of him becoming shrewd. Not so great that he might become, or he's going to become a... Idolize that, but true, that would be good. That would be good stuff. Well, let's see. 
We do think he learned something. Oh, just an idolizer. We're not going to get to Ultimo Genitor. Not to Primo Genitor either. Okay, we become humble. As we have seated on our meditation. So now we have two virtues even. We are humble and we're kind. All very good. And let's send someone to bring us some roses this time. Our carousing is gone as well, so... Let's jump on this again. I think we can because they're all in this war. Can we carouse with our own people? Do not even see the option here. Where's the option gone? <laughs> Oh, we're probably s now. Uh, often feel reluctant doing charity. Okay. Yeah, we're still in meditation. That's why we're probably not being presented with it. So let us uh, make more charitable donations. Let's do that. We have a chance of overcoming advice for good or failing terribly to overcome the vice. Let's see what happens. Okay, the roses was lovely and we get these now. We have rose gardens for a while. Somewhere. Realm. Alright. We've ordered most trusted servants. To do the charity work for us. We regret our decision though. And we, instead of doing something good, we might become greedy from it. Which we do. So, greedy isn't the worst trait, but obviously not what you want. We now have the money to upgrade the castle town, which we will, despite working on the war chest. Upgrading our ability to generate money from our own holdings. That's more important. Than anything else we could do. With the money early on. Okay, we have failed the meditation mission. I like that's even an option. Sometimes they don't really give you that option. Fail meditation issues or uh, quests along those lines. Actually winning the revolt. Oi. We ah, we're in a non-aggression pack with our leash, so we can't really help. We could help him. And he's not our friend. Now we can't send as many troops as we would like because he's sieging our main holdings right now. How many troops could we raise? Just about 200, so it's not that important anyway. We'll reinforce our liege, maybe increasing his power there enough to fight back. Why don't you go for this place here? Ah, it looks like other... Maybe our friend joined us. King has inherited some duchy. What duchy have you inherited? Oh, 
Duchy of Ustala, which it doesn't hold anymore. We'll just see what happens. We attach our troops to him. They lost a whole bunch of troops here. The defenders certainly did a number. Do not wish to ransom our heir. If he dies, he dies. Such is life. That a new court physician. Always important, our court chaplain is gone, so our court physician and chaplain will be the same person. Oh, we can upgrade legalism one, that is good. Definitely want that. So now we can set some laws to allow for title revocation and to increase centralization. Good, our liege has come to our aid. Now we can raise our puny amount of troops from this home. But he's coming to retake what is ours. So he has lost a bunch of battles before. Well, actually just one, but it was a major one. So us supplying some more troops to his cause is likely going to be the game-changing interaction here. And I'm primarily doing it because this guy chose to siege us. He's not respecting the wishes of his father, who was our good friend and who he would never have done that. He would never have sent his troops here to launch an attack like that against us. I don't fully understand. Okay, he's at a war this fellow we can't offer to join this war that's okay he's going to win another battle here if he were able to catch the revolt which he but maybe they make a fatal mistake didn't retake everything just took some things leaving this church Alright, we actually have a dangerous faction in our realm, which is interesting. Because this one count, apparently, has enough troops to be threatening to us. Let's check our pacts. Let's form a few alliances. Well, let's form one alliance. This way we don't become invulnerable to potential attacks, but it becomes much less likely in the case of someone declaring war on us that we get over. So usually at this point I just throw money at these types of situations, but since it's so early game and we don't really have a lot of money and not a lot of income either, with our troops being up right now, trying to Defend against this revolt with our leash. Um, I'm not going to try and bribe him away from it. So our castle town was built, meaning we should get a little bit more now. It's not going to be a significant amount. 
But over time, it will all make sense. Did these guys... I believe these guys fit from the realm? Shame I can't re rewind or something. We are a rampant sinner. Because we're both greedy and a drunk. I respect your opinion, but I, I do d disagree. So they're fighting over this here and likely are going to lose it because they are quite a lot stronger by now. This empire here. Gone are the times of glory for Monsters Kingdom. The Rini. Where we could threaten the Empire of Bayeni. What are we supposed to? Pick the theology focus. I mean, we are quite old by now. Let's get a few of our vassals involved in some carousing, which again, the option is not there because we're in a war. Since we can't carouse anyway, anytime soon, let's just switch over to the theology focus. Having God be our companion. And we could now compose a book because our learning is high up. And it's going to be affordable. It's always a good chunk of money, but it's affordable. And books are good because they're early options for... Uh, treasury related upgrades to your characters. So... Either about our family or about relationships. We're not really good at diplomacy. But we're not really good at anything else. So um, I think we'll write about nothing in particular. The chronicle of our house there. Which would be mighty short. So they're going to attack these guys. Which isn't the greatest decision. Because nothing they can do against the 4,000 sitting around there anyway. They should just concentrate on this war. But who are we to argue with our liege? He most certainly knows what is best for the realm. Ah, we could have raised some more levies there. Even though he won this battle, and now he's in the favorable defensive position, the numbers just are going to be his downfall. He's not going to win. I mean, if he had all horses, then yeah, sure, maybe, but he, he... There's more and more rebellions popping up everywhere. So he got utterly decimated. One of our sons is sick. Oh no, shame. We're not going to treat it. It's a severe illness. He's still being treated for it though, unfortunately. So with the loss of life in this battle here, he has sprung up to be much more dangerous in terms of numbers, but we still do have our uh, ally over here to potentially alleviate some of the negative implications of having such a weak army now. We will drop out of the war by standing down our troops and allowing them time to recuperate. Hoping that there's no further sieging or attacking on our land. Stand them down. We could raise them up and, and try to retake this. Uh, but due to the major army still all around us, it's not going to happen. As you can see, he's losing to multiple rebellions now. We did try our best, but there's really nothing to be done about any of this. he's heavily losing this one which is no wonder because troop number wise is just nothing he can do even if we retook this i 
I don't really think we can do much about it. So he crushed one revolt. That's good. But with our troops or without them, he's not going to win. Well, I mean, if we had the full 800 that we can raise, which is not going to happen. There might be a chance. But what is she good at? Diplomacy, quite honestly. So let's push her that direction. And we are raised in our thing there. He's no longer sick, unfortunately. Okay, the king has lost. Meaning he was supplanted by his heir. Who is our son-in-law. Married to our daughter. Let's unpause real quick. So... I don't know how his duchy splintered, but he doesn't hold everything anymore. Or he does. Oh yeah, no, no, he holds the duchy still, but since he's now a king level, you see the vassals he has. Uh, and this thing became part of this thing. Which annoys me a little bit. Now we do have enough piety, finally, to potentially declare a war, but apparently we don't have this uh, order du jour claim thing to declare war anymore. We could declare war on him to claim Vengi, which is this piece there. Or we could go for a du jour claim on it. I I still don't really know the difference between these two. Let's read a little bit. Okay. This one just costs us a lot of prestige. This one doesn't cost us any prestige. So he has 448 troops right now. Against the 706 that we can raise. But we don't have our ally anymore because that was him. So let us offer him a non-aggression pack because we don't have any cause to fight him anymore anyway. Let's bring back our guy here. Maybe form an alliance with him. And that way, we have a little bit more military leverage to throw around. He is also forming an alliance. Why? Why are you so friendly with us? I'm also missing a whole lot of sounds beside the music. Bit weird. Who knows? Sometimes things are just a little bit weird. We have 715. We could go higher. But he's also kind of depleted right now. So I don't want him to go higher as well. And prevent him from getting any sort of pacts right now. Plus if he dies. He's the heir. So let's go. Let's go for our du jour claim which costs us nothing as opposed to the du jour claim that does cost us something. And we will indeed call in our ally. Raise our own troops. Put them all together here. Ideally we don't want to lead troops. It's really not much of a point I believe. This guy gets center. Of course, our ally joins to honor his obligations. Good thing we have our ally here. So 
So either he is coming to block us off, or he's going to try and attack these guys. Very good. We'll, we'll offer him the opportunity to do so once he's locked in. No? Don't want to go there anymore? Have our friend attach. Do not wish you to educate our kids in weird ways. What do you want us to do? You want us to build a temple. We can't afford this anytime soon. So we will decline it. Declining does lead to less offers of new options. But what are we going to do with an option we can't fulfill anyway? Right. So we are going to allow him to get here before us because that way we get into a battle on our own terms without having to cross a river good stuff and we do have some reinforcements coming in so does he apparently i think he's gotten himself some mercenaries yes look at the morale these are higher troops so we have to hope that the battle already goes well. Hmm. Okay, we want to talk about military strategy to raise our marshal a little bit, potentially. So if he jumps in right at the end of this... No, he doesn't. It's a great big shame. So now we need to hire own, our own um, vassals, I say. Uh, we need to hire our own troops. He has a lot of gold, a lot more than we do. So he can sustain this much better than we can. Um, right, let's see. Can we borrow money by some potential thing? No, we cannot borrow money from anyone. We also can't outlast him in terms of... Money. only chance we have is to combine troops and attack before they get to fully recover morale all right okay he's going to attack us and this our ally is going to come in he has no great morale so that's our only potential saving grace we got in this battle um see what else can we potentially do are there any non-aggression pacts that we could maybe turn no we do have a fairly decent commander here But he's also not the best. Sadly, no one on defensive anything. Do we have better commanders already there? Maybe we can replace this guy with nine. Yeah, our genius guy. So that way we have a genius guy in the center. The flanker guy in the flank. Sadly, center is also really weak on morale right now. I'm not sure if that's because we switched out the commander. Or any other reason. But this is the only chance we'll ever get in this war right now. With their morale being as low as it is. Yeah, but as you can see, our morale is quickly depleting. Oh no, we're winning. He has lost two flanks so far. One flank still holding up really well. But yeah, that's it. And that is the importance of morale in uh, battles in this game. And we need to push it. Uh, there's no chance of us... If he has a option to regain his morale, we're done. We have to keep pushing and fight him 
hopefully not crossing a river or anything silly. Because that would give him an advantage again. And too late. They're crossing a river into a larger army. Despite their lower morale, it's uh, very unlikely. I mean, we have an offensive flanker here. But I am not very hopeful. Uh, this might go just wrong. Does he take a white piece right now? Okay. So we'll we'll keep this option open. And if we see this battle going wrong, meaning this side going white, which is the attacking side, which are we right now. Okay, it's equal currently. The defending side has one flank being broken. One flank being broken, so it's two flanks against one now. The center against left and right flank. Everyone else has left the battlefield. Okay, he broke us. Um, so we're going to send the offer for white piece. And we are being called to the council via an advisor. We have lost the war. Uh, lost a lot of respect from our people as well. Let's stand on our troops and hopefully recover a little bit more. Oh, it was very unfortunate that this child had so much money to burn through and we didn't. 